Welcome everybody, here I am at the base of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. What am I doing here, I hear you ask? Well, don't worry, we'll tell you all about it shortly. This week, though, has been crazy. Near where we live, the 24-hour uh, race has been going on at Le Mans, and there's lots of preparation happening. And we also live very close to a village, which is a bit of a pilgrimage for everybody who comes to watch the race, because they like to come down to see a particular hotel where a lot of the drivers in the 40s, 50s, and 60s were put up overnight uh, during the races. And they used to commute backwards and forwards to do their racing. So every time there's a 24 hour race, this hotel is packed and it's full of people. Uh, coming to see the pictures and all of, all of the sort of uh, vintage antiques that they've got from the races over all the years. But also in this village, there are a large number of antique stores. And we all know who's interested in antiquing and brocanting. That's right, almost everybody. Of course they are, why not? It's the best thing in the world to do. So we had a bit of a surprise visit this week from Stephanie and Philip, and they came up to see us and to see a little bit of the antique stores that we have near us and to spend some time with us, which was lovely. So we're going to show you that this episode. Last week, um, was it really just last weekend? We spent the weekend at Manor and Maker at uh, Sarah and Steve Chateau, where we took part in an Edwardian costume weekend, which was fantastic. Lots of fun. We all love dressing up and all the content from that particular trip is going to be shown in the next episode. So I just wanted to let you know that that isn't what's going to be in this episode. It'll be in the next episode. Uh, and so please watch both of them as we do them because they are full of fun and we have lots of uh, great adventures with all of our friends. So, so I wonder who's behind that door? Welcome to the club, was it? <laughs> I am so excited because our friends Stephanie and Philip are on their way. It's their first time visiting La Croix Boise, our house, and we are so excited. We've got really fun things planned, and they're going to be sharing some of our adventures on their vlogs. But of course, I'm going to show you what we've been up to as well. It's been a huge day. I have been cleaning. I've been doing flowers, as you can see behind me. I've been laying the table inside and outside and while we're waiting on them, they're actually going to show up any minute at this point, and while we're waiting on them, I will walk you outside and show, show you what I've been up to. One of the things I'm happiest about is the time of year that they're coming is spectacular. We have a beautiful, beautiful day. I've stepped out into the sunshine and the garden looks gorgeous. Look at the roses behind me. It is a beautiful day. All the plants we planted are looking so lovely. It's looking good. <laughs> I'm trying to work out how to put the bits together. Oh, I love it under here. You did it. She come show me. Oh. It's beautiful. I love it. We decided to put the sun loungers in there. We're going to have a couple outside by the pool. And then, of course, there are several in the pool. But we want to have a lovely, shady, peaceful rest. Especially when Isabella's here over the summer and she's still studying. Then this is a wonderful spot and it's got a really lovely view as well. We are ready for drinks later. The pool is open, looks great. And later tonight, we're gonna to have a barbecue. Simon cleaned it before he left for work this morning. 
more beautiful roses. And a lovely table. I thought that Stephanie and Philip would enjoy this one. This tablecloth is based on hand-painted tiles, Portuguese tiles, and I couldn't resist bringing out my peacock porcelain. Now I'm off to get some flowers for the rooms. I have some wonderful roses to choose from. Oh, aren't they spectacular? I think we definitely need one of these. These will be perfect for our romantic bedroom. Look at the size of that rose. It's enormous. And the smell is so beautiful. We have to have some peonies as well. The flowers that we planted last week are so happy. The roses are gonna need a little bit of time to settle, but the geraniums, my goodness, they're going great. And we put some extra pots out as well. It's going to be a happy, happy summer. And then I had to plant these roses. They're called Gita roses. And we have a friend named Gita who is like a third grandmother to Isabella, but she also happens to be a brilliant ballerina in Paris. And so these roses perfectly embody her. These are standard icebergs. The white color is wonderful, especially when the sun starts to set because they just glow in the moonlight. And this, some of you may remember, is the Elvis Rose. Also so beautiful in the garden. And you wouldn't believe how hot it has gotten here in France. Practically overnight, we're doing everything we can to keep things watered. And thankfully, we do have a wonderful pool. I think I'm gonna go open all of these windows. When we do that, it really is like being outside. Everything lovely and clean. It's starting to look good though. <laughs>
the kitchen and it's looking really lovely and sparkly and clean. If anybody's interested, Simon and I actually installed this entire kitchen ourselves. I designed it. Simon did a lot of the carpentry and the cupboard work. The only things that we didn't do were the plumbing, electricity, and the granite. And then through here, I've laid a lovely table for us. I laid it for six because I wasn't sure if Isabel and Percy would be joining us, but I think it might just be the four of us. And of course, I love to use the bird plates for all of our special guests. We're so happy to have you here. <laughs> We're having the best time. It's perfect. It's idyllic. It's, it's a more fairy tale. In person. Fairies. You're so kind, and it's been far too long I for know. you to come and stay in your busy, busy, busy We've schedules. Been for so long. Looking forward to it. We're going to go have so much fun today. Yeah. Lots of adventures and some shopping. So Simon, yes. get ready. Okay. Antiques. Well, antiques. Like, yes. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for everybody sitting out here surrounded by these beautiful roses everywhere, I want to tell you a little bit about a slight change to the title of our channel that you might have noticed. We've always been Chateau Love for the last two years, sharing our love of our chateau, other people's chateau, the chateau that we're surrounded by in France, and all of the fun things that happen in and around them. But what we haven't told you is that in the last few months, our lives have changed quite a lot. Simon, who was able to work from home because of the pandemic, has now been called back into the office and his office is in Paris. We're lucky that we live close enough to commute, but what that also means is that all of our lives are not now at the Chateau. We're still continuing with the renovations. We're still continuing with all of the amazing things that we love about the French countryside but there's this whole other side of our lives that we really want to share with you. In 1999, Simon and I bought our very first Pied-à-Terre in Paris. And since then, we have pretty much had a presence on and off for nearly a quarter of a century. It's my other home and it's where certainly half of my heart is. And I am really looking forward to sharing with you all of the places that I love there, all of the secrets, the wonderful little places that people don't know about and exciting things that go on there on a regular basis. And most importantly, what is everybody wearing this season? Anyway, thank you for sticking with us. We are so grateful to all of you who watch our channel and help encourage us to continue making fun videos and sharing our lives with you and our incredible friends that we've made through this vlog. Let's go shopping. Yes, you're gonna see a whole lot more. Antique shops everywhere. The Hotel de France is full of people and magnificent cars everywhere we look, but we're here to go antique shopping because it's also an antiques village. And what a fun day. We are in our neighboring village, which happens to be a Mecca for drivers and enthusiasts of Le Mans going all the way back to its inception. The weekend of the 100 year anniversary of the Le Mans 24 hour race and we are surrounded by Porsches, Maseratis, Bentleys, classic cars, modern cars, and a lot of noise. If any of you ladies out there are looking for a man with a nice car, there are a lot of them here this weekend. Oh. We've been in here exactly two minutes and I just heard the words come out of your mouth. I think I might have it. It's <laughs> <laughs> cleaning pots and pans. Yeah. It's pretty and, we, and yeah, it's not plastic. It's very, very yes. stiff. And it's all natural. Mm. I do like that one. Why am I so is it too soon to tell you there's jewelry next door as well? What? <laughs> I think I'm this excited about the brushes. Yes. <laughs> I suppose what it's going to be next door. They've got a hedgehog. 
Okay. Why clean your pots with that brush when you could do it with a hedgehog brush? Well, that's a fat point. Look at that. This is a casserole brush. This is specifically So that's a harder one? It's a hard one, but it's not metal. I think Ooh. this is it. I cannot have casseroles without a casserole brush, my darling. I don't know how you expect me to do all my casserole cooking without this. And then if you want one with a handle. I love those. <laughs> oh, but that's much softer. That's not going to get those. any burnt bits off. No, but, but it's perfect for, for. I would say it's perfect for porcelain. Yeah. Perfect for porcelain. Right? <laughs> Just <laughs> One must No, no. <laughs> I think that that. It's Philip. Let's be. <laughs> It's Philip. <gasps> it's a Mohican hedgehog. <laughs> oh, yep. I like this one for the vegetables. Brosse à légumes. It's lovely. That would elevate cleaning your root vegetables and potatoes yes. and your carrots. I, I don't know why it's got two effects here, but obviously that is critical to getting the correct mm -hmm. level well, of cleanliness. Oh yeah, one softer. Softer and harder. Wow. I think I might get this for the kitchen at La Land. I like that very much. The candles are gorgeous. And go. Philip, I promised you clothing, and we are surrounded by vintage Look at that. sailor suits. Oh, a sailor suit. Hats, all sorts of wonderful okay. things. Look. Thing is, can we persuade Philip into a sailor suit? <laughs> it's a nice neckline. It is a nice neckline. <laughs> That's a bit bring out my eyes. Look at the picnic basket. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's just wonderful. It's the perfect day for a picnic as well. Yeah. It is. I mean, this is really the proper thing. Look, it's got, it's got wicker um, bottles. Oh gosh, wow. yes, and that one is for sale. Yeah. How much is that? It is only three hundred and fifty euros. Oh gosh, golly. <laughs> right. I think repro is going to have to. Yeah. Be. Paper bag it is today yeah. for lunch. Enough cheese. Yeah, so this is really so interesting, fun. George. And some of them are um, quirky. Yeah. Like, like really, really funny. <laughs> Tomato. Jambon beurre. Because what everybody needs is a ham and yeah. butter. Cheese sandwich, oh, yeah. Um, Brooch. I feel like we should get that for Maria. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it bleeding? What's yes, happened? Yes, yeah. it is. She's got oh, that chicken head right and off. I suppose, oh. exactly. Oh, look, look. It's got... It, oh, it, it, it'll dangle. Oh, dear. Oh, wow, it is. It's actually... Oh, my goodness. The baguette. Look, the baguette and cheese. Oh, and cheese. There's a croissant as well. That's the one, isn't it? Oh, that's that magic. Is, that is it. I like the croissant as well. Oh, look at that. That was so good. See, I think I just need them for like different holidays. How do so we choose? I think I need this one for Halloween, mm -hmm. obviously. You're using the word holiday in the American sense there. I was so confused <laughs> yes. for a minute. Oh, I was like, really? Every time we go on holiday, you need a no, skeleton? No, no, no. Oh, or that one for Halloween. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a very good one. Mm. Sports day, but I nah, wouldn't like be you and I would be in sports day. <laughs> Sport, did you just say sports, sports day? Sports day has <laughs> probably stay in bed. <laughs> um, stay in bed day. Okay, you guys come this way. This is my favorite room here. It looks like it looks like it could be like the the studio of Rodin or something, yes. doesn't it? If you need a hand or something. Yes. All these wonderful just bits. You need a hand with something. Thank you, thank you. I always need a hand with something. Dust broom. You put it on oh. the end of a broomstick. Oh. And you can dust everywhere. Amazing. <laughs> and an old bathtub. Have you seen the um the, the statues as well on top there, the massive ones? I don't. Philip just spotted a beautiful piece of hand-blocked wallpaper. Look at the detail. Does it continue? Because that looks like another shop there. Um, I think that might be the back of the other shop I was telling you about. Ah, okay. <laughs> it is Sam's birthday soon. Very dapper. I think he would happily carry that around. It's quite nice. Yeah, it suits you actually. Thank you. It's very uh, Charlie Chaplin. Isn't it? Yes. Just you know, be kind with it. It's just fragile. <laughs>
Yeah, that's uh, yeah. the leaves. I know. I, I was having a great deal of fun with that earlier. I just think this might be good. Look at this extraordinary thing. You're going to start cleaning up plants. The cobwebs, okay. I think I might get this. And it goes on the extending. Yes, you just get hole. the hole and then fabulous. Cobwebs no more, darling. Uh, oh, it's 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 and what's that for? It's for leaves of plants. Oh, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. I'm getting mesmerized. By that <laughs> I know. No, no, no. I've, I've been playing with it. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, yeah. It has to be for She's a delicate flower <laughs> with delicate leaves. Nice. <laughs> Ready? Oui. Ready. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. excellent. <laughs> the baby is too big, huh? but... I wish that our shadow but... was that tall. Look how high it goes, wow. The but... spiders oh, aren't going to know what to hit them. Mais pour un escalier? Oui. oui. For the stair stairwells, exactly. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. Yeah. We did not need this many brushes. <laughs> You've come out with it. <laughs> so many. I've got to show you these. These are the ones you're most yeah. excited about. They're for the carafes. Two different carafe brushes. So it's wonderful. This, these are for the normal carafes and these are for the ship's carafes. Ah. And we generally use the carafes every day. Yes. So this is something we needed. Exactly. Great. And and to, to dust, I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this one. Because, uh, and look how beautifully he wrapped this up in vintage paper. And this, this I absolutely needed because my pride and joy is my copper bathtub. Oh. And this is for scrubbing it. Is it really? Yes. Is that what that is? This is a bath cleaner. Incredible. So I shall be happily cleaning my bath. Okay, we have dozens more of these places waiting for us, so we need to get moving. And we are surrounded by some very beautiful cars. us and then just everywhere we look McLarens, Aston Martins, Ferraris and antique weird. stores. It is a little weird isn't it? Well this McLaren flying up today with the 100 years of Le Mans. Philip has spotted yeah. beautiful porcelain and I'm losing my mind because these are the exact same tiles that we have in our orangery which means that this place probably was built around the same time and sourcing their flooring from the same place and I just am so happy they have some vintage jewelry. So this is the Always looking for treasures. We're all excited about jewelry and chicken. <laughs> Philip, chicken. Chewy things. There's a chicken. 
ring best oh, sitting ring on eggs ever. and it's 40 euros stephanie and it's 40 I think euros i need to i'm gonna buy you that ring <laughs> no, no, no. i want to buy you that ring i do and every time you look at that little chicken <laughs> sitting on eggs you can make that face <laughs> it's beautiful it's the perfect easter ring isn't it <laughs> it's just the perfect and ring. now we have to rush back because heaven forbid someone buys the chicken ring <laughs> there's gonna be a we... rush on that ring i can I sense it i actually really like some of these other jewelry pieces i like this citrine is this citrine or do you think that's paste uh, uh, i think for 16 euros is it 160 is it 160 okay well then that's a very good question mm. yep. if no, it were 16 okay. i think we'd know the answer but it's yeah. not as good as the chicken no Come the on. chicken's amazing the chicken's amazing but the feather's quite elegant actually with the little stone yeah that's that's really very beautiful if it's the right price, it could end up on my website, which I promise I'm going to launch soon. You need to. <laughs> I know, I'm hurrying. Because you always find these wonderful things. I know, I know. In another antique store in our antique village next to our place. <laughs> Philip's got a table he's got his eye on. I think these are actually really fun. Stephanie, did you find anything that you like? So many beautiful things, but no, nothing that I'm tempted to find mm here. -hmm. Oh, just really pretty old cologne bottles with so lovely in the oh, bathroom. Wouldn't they? Yeah, there's lots of lovely things. Nice to get inspiration. Cupid and Psyche. No, I got mortadella. Mortadella! With truffle. Oh, wow. How can I not try that? It's been taken away, but it will be brought back. I see. Oh, I see. Sadly, I don't eat red meat, but I hope it's delicious because I do like truffles. <laughs> now I'm disappointed. I thought it was cheese. Of, I thought no, it was truffle cheese. Like the cheese is behind you, so we can. We actually, I think we have truffle cheese at home. Of course. Oh my gosh! Do. Look at the size of that gorgonzola. That's I the biggest gorgonzola. gorgonzola I've ever seen. Should I have a bit of gorgonzola? Maybe. So you don't eat pork? Oh look, camembert de buffalo. Have you ever heard of that? No, and like a buffalo mozzarella camembert. Why? Should we try that? I think we should try that. That looks really delicious. It's cheese. We've got cheese. It's a camembert of mozzarella de buffalo. Okay, perfect. Have we got too much cheese? I don't know. Can we ever have too can much cheese? Have, can you have too much? And there's a whole pile of it there. I'm bewildered by the, well, I can only call it cockpit of this car because I thought I could drive. But where do you start with this? <laughs> what are these dials for? We have just spotted the most incredible car. It's a vintage Bentley. Look it's at this. Amazing. I'll take it. <laughs> You'll work out every single one of those You're getting very expensive, Philip. <laughs> very expensive taste. We can't bring you here ever again. <laughs> wow. I love the headlights. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So cool. And we just had a vintage DeLorean pass us as well. Spotted a car that he likes. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, this is an Austin Healey. Oh. Well. Yeah. So we're going for the same car, different colors. Oh, you two could match with your little matching Austin Healey convertibles. I prefer your color, this is beautiful. It's in good condition. It is beautiful. Can you go have these? Yeah. You can have it on weekends. <laughs> I wouldn't object. I think it's gorgeous. Join us for our next two episodes as Philip, Stephanie, Simon, and I meet one of the oldest living ceramic painters in the world. He shows us his techniques, his atelier, and even his private home. It's an extraordinary experience that none of us will ever forget, and we even walk away with some unbelievable treasures to take home for ourselves we can't wait to share this wonderful experience with you and that is not all as promised we do have a very fun and exciting episode coming up of costume making at a weekend of art and great friendships as we go chateau hopping to manor and maker so stay tuned with us 
there's always more Chateau love and also, as we promised, some Paris love on its way as well. This has been such a fun trip and I'm so sorry you're leaving. We're rushing so back I. because we have to get back in three hours time. Yes. Because you yes, have to lay yeah. the table tonight. Yes. So we have to rush back. With beautiful porcelain. Maybe. It depends how much time we have. Yes. Right? Oh, already you're making excuses. You might need to wash porcelain. it as well. That's what I mean. <laughs> and Simon is the grand recipient of a beautiful new birthday gift. I can't wait to hang it or have the electrician hang it. Exactly. <laughs> And as for me, I just feel like it's just been so wonderful. And also, you guys did do the first official tour of our little Thank chateau. You so that much is true. For that. that is true. And so, if anybody yeah. wants to watch that, it's going to be on Stephanie's grand tour of Europe. Yes. And I think we may even be making an appearance on a couple of episodes oh, of the Chateau Diaries. The chateau diaries. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. Because we have got some really fun things that we bought. Sorry, sweetheart. Look at his face. He's like, what did you buy? <laughs> what did you buy when you were out with Stephanie and Philip? <laughs> <laughs> you were with us, you remember. I remember what I bought, and I remember what you bought when I was there. Oh, well, what happened behind my back? I have no idea. Well, <laughs> Chatelains keep each other's secrets, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happens in the Brook House stays in the Brook House. Yes, <laughs> safe travels. We love you guys. Bye, see you soon. We will see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching us and subscribing uh, and supporting our channel. Um, we look forward to sharing our adventures with you. I'll put links of Stephanie and Philip's accounts of their stay with us from the Chateau Diaries and Stephanie's Grand Tour of Europe at the end of this video.